All right, Simeon, let's go ahead and start getting ready for what? the show. Anyway, let's get ready for the show what? tonight. And we're... Simeon, you know, the podcast, the show. What? The one we... Our Hero Click show, the one we do every single week. You know what I'm what? talking about. I don't. It's time what? To like it's. I really. I swear to the Lord, if you keep if you keep interrupting me, I what? I will I will I will go find Chris and bring him back from the grave or wherever he what? is. And I, I. Okay. <laughs> what? You. <laughs> it's funny because it was funny the first time, but no, it wasn't. So, I would really like to just get to the podcast. Let me ask you something, Calder. What? Yeah. Mm, okay. <laughs> do you want to do the show, or is this? Is this, is this what we're doing? Coming down to the ring, and you're asking me. You're asking Stone Cold Simeon Bruce if he wants to... What? I didn't ask you what. Uh, I'm actually... Just... Did you, did you just walk in the studio with that now? Is that your thing? You're just going to come in the studio, you're going to throw beers at me, and you're just going to play that? Is this what, is this what's going to happen? Is this our relationship? For yeah, I'm riding an ATV right now, wow. and I'm bald. Wow. <laughs> I wear denim, but only down to my knees. Yeah, I it got, looks like you... I got a pair of bad ones. Yeah, you definitely have a pair of bad knees. I like those those braces. They really comp- only been to I've only been to Texas once, but I'm... I'm a rattlesnake from there now. Hey, well, thanks for giving me that really tiny hat. I really appreciate it. It goes really well with my Olympic uh, Heroclix gold. Uh, it's not as nice as my normal hat, but uh, I do I do appreciate it. Thank you, Simeon. Um, I don't appreciate when you uh, took me to the grocery store and hit me in the face with a frozen pizza, though. That wasn't very fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't appreciate Good old uh, grocery store Booker T fight. Yeah. Anyways, this is episode 316 of the Dial H for Heroclix podcast. We're going to talk about Austin 316. Fan- okay, all right. Thank you for already interrupting Pink me again. Uh, we're going to be talking about Fantastic Four previews and some Spider-Man Maximum Car Maximum Carnage previews and discuss our Supernova tournament a little bit. So just so you guys know, Dial H for Heroclix is Brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock every day, including all the latest HeroClick singles and sealed products. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. You can, right now, let me see if it's actually in stock really quickly. Um, CoolStuffInc.com. While well, Calder's looking for that, okay, also no. check out Cool Stuff Inc.'s uh, Twitch channel where they do a, m- unboxings of HeroClix products Simeon. occasionally. Simeon. If you, if you want to do that. Okay. Don't. <laughs> you just. <you're laughs> they don't. Okay, they don't. I, I was going to see if they had Stone Cold Steve Austin in stock. They do not right now. He's a, he's a hot Ooh. seller. Hot, let me if see you need one of the, the um, fast, or not the fast, fast force, force, one of the starter set uh, Stone Colds, 103 is his number. Um, I've got an extra, so Ooh. shoot the channel or me directly a message, and I can get it on its way to you. Because I only pulled that move off once, and uh, I think I KO'd more holes. of my own figures. Yeah. Mm. It actually, no, I pulled it off twice. One match, I actually managed to come back from like a severe point deficit where like half my team was gone and like i just somehow managed to pull off this crazy uh six pack of stunners and then the other one was against calder for fun yeah you suck thank you he was already losing really badly Uh, (laughs) i KO'd like two of my own figures Mm -hmm. just to try and hit both of his Mm -hmm. yep so anyway we like to start off the show with what made us happy this week simeon what made you happy this last week, my man? What made me happy this last week is I finally buckled down. I broke open the piggy bank that I've had all my life. Not really. Uh, I don't believe in violence against porcelain items. But I, I cracked open the old bank account, and I purchased my first PC. So this isn't the first PC I've built, but it will be the first one that I've built for just myself. And it will be the first gaming one that I've built, so... I'm going with an Intel. So all you Ryzen fans out there can, uh, I don't know, tell me I made a mistake, I guess. But too bad. So we're purchased. I'm not going back now. See, I love computer gaming and PC gaming, but I am not nerdy enough, 
nor do I care about technology enough to try to build a computer. I'm just like, hey, look, man, I'm going to throw money at this computer. Can it run video games? It doesn't have to run AAA titles. Those those are for PlayStation 4. But can it run video games? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, I'll buy the computer. Thank you. After so I'm, years, you know, I'm glad. Yeah, after years of like just laptop and being able to be like run Minecraft at like extra low graphics. Uh, lower and that's a bit, <laughs> lower than normal. I'm finally, like you know what? I've had a PS3 for ten years. I never upgraded because I told myself, I like before I upgrade, I'd get a PC. And my my PS3 finally made like some horrific horrific wind noises the other day, mm. and like dust clouds billowed out. And I was like, I don't think it's gonna last another ten years. I should I... probably look into a new source of entertainment i don't think you're a liar but i will say dust clouds probably didn't billow out of your playstation 3 it did but sound it's, like someone turned i bet, it, back I bet it, it sounded horrible it was i was like i've never once heard this noise come out of this thing before and it's not like a bad machine uh they did their best it's just 10 years old at this point yeah and yeah. uh i was like come on uncharted 3 and it was like uncharted <laughs> like had Nathan, to go plus Nathan. ultra. Yeah. Jake. Yeah. Well, all right. That's awesome. No, I, I can't wait for you to get a new computer. Trust me. As someone who plays online hero clicks against you every single week and records a show, <laughs> you getting a new computer is, makes me just as happy as it's probably going to make you. Uh, and then what made me happy this week? Let me tell you something. This was a great week. This was an amazing week for one, one sexy ranch in Calder Nesp. We started the week off, me and my little brother uh, used to play Castle Crashers all the time on the PlayStation 3, and he would always get mad at me, because I would I was better at the game than him, right, because I'm older, uh, and I would kiss all the princesses, because I was 13 or whenever Castle Crashers came out, probably like 15, 16, right, so I'm like, ah, suck it, little bro, uh, and now, and then we started playing it on PS4, so I bought it again, started playing on PS4. I miss couch co-op so much. I hate online co-op play so much. Love couch co-op. Love couch co-op. It's the best. It is the best. You can fight me on that anytime, anywhere. Don't it's crazy. Out. It's a, almost not even an option in like most games now. Is it? It isn't. It'll be like People a can, you can option complain about split screen as much story. as you want. Love split screen. Love it to death. Yeah, I still I still have a Dreamcast. Uh, mm-hmm. Shout out to the the Sega fans, and a N sixty. I have multiple N sixty fours, but um, yeah, I'd rather boot up the N sixty four, and by boot up I mean like throw like the the big old switch on it. Yeah. I'd rather play that on like a weekend night with some friends than than ever get back onto like a Call of Duty server oh, and slog through that like awfulness. Like not yeah. not because I'm awful at Call of Duty. Because I but, am, but also because uh, I'm just really good at Mario Kart 64. Mm. So you have no life, Mario Kart fans over here. Anyways, <laughs> so that was a big thing. My family worked our last batch of cattle for branding, so that was great to get done. We also took a family trip for... We have three birthdays in June. And uh, we took a trip down the Niobrara, which is this cool little river in Nebraska. Simeon's familiar with it a little bit, I hear. And it's like the first time we've been to the Niobrara in years. So we just got like a bunch of tubes. You hook them together and you just float down the river. And you, we packed cooler, so we just ate food and kind of swam a little bit. We see me and told us some pretty cool places to check out. So we stopped, pulled over the raft, kind of the tube raft, and went to this jacuzzi spot. It also kind of had a waterfall type deal coming down from it. So we, you know, went under there for a little bit, got your head assaulted by water which was fun (laughs) uh so that was great got an awesome sunburn no matter i think i got the sunscreen right this time completely wrong burnt both my knees and my entire like shin down and it sucks it is awful yeah um but yeah that was really no no matter what though i freaking love it spending you know six hours with your family on a raft was actually not as terrible as some people might think it would be love my family so it was just it was a great time Swimming was fun. Uh, It's great. No, I love it so much. And then to cap off the week, uh, I went to a bachelor party for superfan Lucas Tom Van Holland, Joey Four Names, and 
we just we had a good time. We just sat around, talked until like, geez, uh, very late in the night, very very late. That was last night. So if I uh, fall asleep, I've got a bang here to try to keep me awake. If I fall asleep during the show, uh, you'll know why. Uh, we went a little late, but we also uh, opened up some indie and played some indie sealed, which is I would recommend uh, if you're gonna have a hero clicks bachelor party to get some golden age sets and play some sealed. It's it's pretty good. I I pulled double veteran Hellboy, man, man oh man, like he's got a 15 defense sure, but when he charges you for four damage, 10 attack, copying. Um, uh, 2000 AD, so he's got an 11 attack oh, yeah. and 4. that plus 1. He kills, dude, he kills a lot in this set. He he just slaughters. It was great. We only played one game, which sucked, but like we could, totally could have played more, but we were just like really enjoying each other's company so much. We just kept talking, which was awesome. So I really, I really did love it. I really did love it. It was great. I have missed hanging out with those guys because they're my normal clicks crew, and it's it's good to see your friends. That's, I think, more than anything, because... Me and Simeon, we will play competitive. We're not competitive players. We don't sit here on our show telling you that if you listen to Dial H for Hero Clicks, you're going to get better at the game. You'll probably get worse, honestly. But <laughs> but um, I love going to competitive tournaments and doing it because I like those people. I love the play group in Sioux Falls. I love the play group in Omaha. I like going down to KC. I love those guys too. I, you know, Origins, Nationals, all of it. You know, even the worst of them, I still love them all because they're great. And I just, I love this community, love hanging out with these people, you know, and I really missed that. And it was just great talking to these guys again. Rolling physical dice felt so good. <laughs> like, eventually, we were just doing, like, a joke roll. This is this is something uh, Zach likes to do a lot. He'll just be like, he'll be rolling dice and be like, well, if I roll a four... You owe me six bucks, and there'll be like a five, and it's like, oh, close. And it'll just like make a million different like little sayings like that. And uh, I won't repeat it, um, but it was basically like, whatever, Calder is blank, and I rolled a crit hit, and I'm like, boom, suck it, obviously. Crit hit being the highest, meaning I'm not blank, so get absolutely <laughs> owned. Uh, so yeah, no, I just had an amazing week. This is this has been like the best week I've had. Oh, and then plus the Thursday throwdown video. Which was also great. So I've had an ama- This has like been the best week I've had in like six months. You know, like this week was awesome. So, all right, enough about what makes us happy in the world. Let's talk about things that are going to really bother me in the meta game, and that is Fantastic Four previews in the news section and Spider Man, I guess. Fantastic Four is doing fantastic. It is slated to release sometime in July, I think late 20s, so about a month away. Simeon, do you, do you like do you like free damage? Oh you, yeah. You, oh boy, did I I just dropped a stack ID cards. It's, Shredders, works, whatever, are my thing. Good, 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 good. I I too like office equipment, um, but instead in little plastic superhero form. So I got some free damage for you, boy. What was the worst part about Shredders, Simeon? Uh, no, I don't. No. Was there a they worst cost, part? They like, cost I mean, too many dang points okay, for doing yeah, that free that's damage. Fair. There that's was a fair. ninety point guy who was pretty good, a little small, but he's pretty good. And there was a seventy five point guy. No, that was those were the cheapest, I think. Don't now, if I'm wrong. Just shut up and don't tell me, okay? Thank you. Those being um, uh, mini and uh, mini clone. Mini and clone shredder. Yes, I believe they're the cheapest. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Whatever, right? Like, that's just... Simeon, Simeon, Simeon. That is just too many points for this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful free damage. And then, like, Tri-Sentinels. Tri-Sentinels sure are great, but... Well, they gotta be adjacent to blocking, Simeon, to do the free damage. Or, you know, Pulse Wave. Also, I mean, reason. it's a big target. And, it also uh, is a big target. You and know? it's only one click of life. Yeah, and I still have to take an action to do it. I don't want to be taking no stinking stupid actions. No dumb power actions, Simeon. I don't want to have to damage you by making an action and actually, you know, risking anything. And I also don't want to have to roll dice. Lord knows I might miss. What? So let's introduce a character that, that this is a big setup. We're going to talk about Valeria Von Doom. She is Battle World Other, Fantastic Four, Latveria, Runaways, and Scientist. Scientist being probably uh, the best one. Uh, maybe Fantastic Four, obviously. 
once we see more of the set. She's four clicks long, no special combat symbol, six range. She has the... Uh, it's not the Latveria team ability. It minions a Doom team ability. She is, uh, boy, um, 30 points. She is, thank goodness, unique. Uh, she is sidestep her first three clicks, eight speed the whole time. No attack powers at all. Ten attack the first three clicks, nine attack the last click. She has ESD her entire dial. It's an 18 on the first click and the last click, and then a 17 on her middle two clicks. And then she has a two damage the entire time with a special damage power, her trait. And this is probably her best thing here, is free, roll a d6, and place Valeria Von Doom up to that many squares away. So she has uh, a free move, just like how Deadpool had, the X-Force Deadpool. He could just voop all over the place. So she has free also place. Also Black Adam, right? Also Black Adam, yeah, with the, sw- yeah. With the swiftness. Hit him with the swiftness. Um, and then <laughs> when an opposing character... Now, this is the best part about this, the double slash here, the second part of the trait... When an opposing character is placed within four squares in line of fire, after resolutions, deal that deal them one penetrating damage. So, how can we abuse this? What places characters? Let me tell you something, Simeon. Do you like jewelry, Simeon? Not really. I'm not really an accessory kind well, of guy. I, can I don't know tell. if you can tell from my, my Thursday throwdown outfits, mm-hmm. but I don't usually wear excessive amounts of clothing. No, I'm just going to let that hang in the air for a second. I didn't... <laughs> um, if you don't know, go check out Thursday Throwdown at Dial H for Hero Clicks at YouTube.com, YouTube.com slash Dial H for Hero Clicks. We upload it every Thursday, and you can also vote for it every Thursday. Make sure you vote for the next match. I'm playing Mutations of Monsters. Simeon is playing out of uh, Crisis, I believe. So go ahead, vote for Thursday Throwdown. It's awesome, and it's fun. And then you can see Simeon in his uh, quote-unquote accessory list. Uh, existence no but some rings i think uh val here should be using is the spin ring if you're familiar it's free choose a character within three squares in line of fire place that character in an adjacent square so now as a free action right uh, she can go ahead and place somebody so boop there's one point of free damage right i just place somebody simeon do you know a thing or two about a thing or two because you've seen a thing or two i'd like to say yes Okay, well, we are farmers, and we have some influence. Bum, 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 bum. Force Blast uh, is what the influence ring does, and it's also free. Choose a character within three squares in line of fire. Knock that character back one square. So, Simeon, do you know how Force Blast works, since you do know a thing or two about a thing or two, because you've seen a thing or two? Well, I know that it gives you knockback, and then if there's a adjacent friend or adjacent opposing character, you can be given a power action to roll a d6 and knock them back right. that many squares. So knockback is not a move. It actually places the character. So bada bing, bada boom, one more penetrating damage from old 30 point Val here, which is pretty cool. So besides, you know, two rings. Or 50, 40 points if you give her both points, rings. Right. If you give her Because you can't rings. equip multiples. Exactly. So you can equip her with both rings. You can carry her up. She doesn't take any action so far, right? You carry her up, you free place, free knock back, and then if you wanted to, right, let's just say you sidestep and then vooped, which is a potential eight reach, a minimum three reach, right? So sidestep, voop, three. And if you give her an action to use telekinesis, that's three free penetrating damage, right? That's awesome. Cool, right? That's so dope. What else does this do? She is also uh, basically... Since it is in after resolutions when that character is placed, if a colossal retaliates uh, after as actions resolve, if Val is still alive, that colossal is dead. Most retaliators only have one click of life, right? So this also gives you retaliation protection, or at the very least, um, they're gonna think twice about it, right? If like, well, if I don't kill Valeria, I'm just gonna die, and then they'll be like, well, is it worth even placing my dude there in the first place? So it's like it's a little. It's quote-unquote retaliation protection in the way of they have to do a risk assessment type deal. So Valeria is dope. She's awesome. I like a lot. There's more to it than that, but that is just her first trait. I don't. I shouldn't talk about it too long because um, she's good. She's solid. She's 30 points. She just chase. She's 0 63 in the set. She is so far the most expensive chase. Obviously, there's probably going to be, if they do him right, one more chase that's way more expensive. Uh, hopefully, anyways. She has a second trait. Uh, the rest of her dial or traits aren't as crazy important. 
um, but we're going to let you know. Uh, her damage power is important, though. So when a friendly character, this is her second trait, uh, is K- KOs an opposing character of lower points, give Valeria, Von Doom, and Action Token, sorry, a lower points of them. So a friendly character kills someone, they're 100 points, they kill someone who's 90 points, you give Valeria an Action Token, and that does not deal pushing damage. So basically, you give her a token whenever somebody of higher points kills a lower point character. Her damage power, she has her entire dial. Um, so she's 30 points for all this free damage. What else does she give you? Well, she has leadership and perplex, just period. So she also gives you a stat mod for 30 points and plus one action to your action total. And she can, of course, remove action tokens from all of her keywords or anyone she's more points than, which is only 30, so not a lot. When Valeria Von Doom uses leadership and succeeds, though, choose a friendly character in four squares in line of fire. That character can use outwit until your next turn. So she can also potentially give you outwit. Points mean nothing anymore, and <laughs> Valeria Von Doom is proof of that in spades. I want to thank Happy Little Hero Clicks, our good friend, someone who I I know I've been saying the word love a lot. I love this man in in a in the the most clear way possible. This guy is great. Okay, Devin is awesome. He's a married man, but I love this guy. He's great. He he got some sick previews, and I'm so happy that he got Valeria. And I'm just, I just, oh, it's, it's freaking awesome. She's, she's dumb, and that's it. That's all I have to say about her. Because I've already spoken about her for like five, five, six minutes for how dumb this figure yeah. is. But she's great. I, so we can, for we can thirty move points, on. yeah. I, I don't know if you build your team around her, but if you're building a scientist team, you, you absolutely don't have include to, her because she's forty points with the rings, and she can yeah. just do whatever on her own, and then maybe just have someone carry her. I guess, right? Like. You don't have to build anything around her. She can just be there, dude. Scientist <laughs> is such a good keyword. I'm like, ah. It's only getting ah. better. Uh, we've got like the Cadmus Labs uh, map bonus too. The and Star Labs, 40 Cakes, Luther. All that stuff. Yeah, I'm scientists. pretty sure if you Doom if you put on her on the right the, that map, one? she gets like a what is it, 10 range with her perplex. I think you yeah with perplex you yeah or whoever she gives out wit to gets like the 10 range or whatever um also from happy little hero clicks we also got the super rare silk and the rare gorgon gorgon's just like a charge he's a 45 point pretty solid charge piece decent stats all his dial um and then silk is a spider-man family uh i mean fantastic four ish piece so yes that's that's Uh the other two that we got from there um and then, later in this week, we got some previews from the Lucky Dice Cafe. I hear they have sandwiches, uh, wings, probably some appetizers. Uh, I like a good appetizer. Um, so from Lucky Dice Cafe, the, the figure I'm going to be talking about is none other than Agent Venom. So we've gotten a few of these before. This is the Flash Thompson, the the cool Agent Venom. Uh, well, he's the only Agent Venom. The cool Venom, in my opinion. Uh, none of that Eddie Brock mindless brute stuff. This is an efficient uh, force of Venom symbiosis. Mm. I don't know. Okay. Uh, so, mm-hmm. so he's got a couple keywords here. He's got Codex. Fantastic Four, Shield, Spider-Man Family, Thunderbolts, Monster, and Soldier. Uh, all of those make sense. Um, he's he's got you know decent keywords. Doesn't have Circle of Four. Doesn't have Guardians of the Galaxy. I've heard yeah, I've heard people some murmurs. People are, are mad about this. His first trait, however, is called Circle of Four. Hmm. Uh, if Agent Venom hasn't moved or pl- hasn't been moved or placed this turn, modify attack and damage plus one. So, at the beginning of your turn, if you don't TK him, uh, then he's just at a plus one attack and damage, like, stat-wise, like, right off the bat. As soon as you, like, sidestep, TK, uh, carry, anything like that, it's going to go back to normal. So, let's look at his stats to get an idea. He's got six range, one lightning bolt. He comes in at 75 points and 50 points. His... 75 point line is two clicks of running shot two clicks of energy explosion he has 10 speed for both of those an 11 and a 10 for his energy explosion he goes from an 18 to a 17 with on invulnerability and then he has three damage with 
his special damage that is the Venomist. Adjacent friendly characters can use shape change. Ooh, do I love characters that can hand out shape change like candy. Um, so just like the, the Skine from Captain America and uh, the other stuff in that set, um, just like that lady, he can hand out shape change to everyone adjacent to him. They don't have to. They don't have to share keywords. They can just be adjacent and friendly. So that's pretty cool. Uh, in addition to that, he's also going to have his, his own shape change, of course. Uh, why would they make a Venom without it at this point? So that's what you get for 75 points. He is six clicks long. If you drop him down to his 50 point line, he's going to start with sidestep, nine speed, a 10 attack with blades, a 17 with super senses, so you get your double rollout on that 50 point line, and then three damage with perplex. Now keep in mind that he's got that stat modifier, so if you're playing him at 75 points, before you running shot, you've got a 12 for four on his top dial, and then after you running shot, he has now been moved or placed, and so that modifier will go away, but it will carry through with the attack, so that's kind of nice. Um, doesn't work with the sidestep, though. After you sidestep, he will have moved. So after mm. sidestep, you won't be able to do that attack. On click four, uh, the second click of his 50-point line, he goes back to running shot energy explosion with an 8-speed 11 attack, goes down to a 17 toughness, and then he gets that special damage power again, again with three damage. His last two clicks are back to sidestep blade super senses, with a 7-9, seven, 7-speed seven mm -hmm. 9 attack, and then a 17-18 with his super sense, and then 2 damage, which is his lowest damage that he goes down to with Perplex again. And so that's all well and good. Pretty solid 50-point piece. I love 50-point piece that has good keywords and Perplex top dial. I also love characters that have their own stat modifiers. He also has the wildcard team ability, uh team player team ability my bad uh, huh. it's just a question mark now so it's not the the spider symbol hmm. um but that's not all he's got he's got he's got two additional traits that i haven't even gone over yet he's got call and help from not the venom verse not the spider verse me so that's pretty fun uh, once per turn, when another friendly character that shares a keyword with Agent Venom hits, after resolutions, you may roll a d6. On a 3 through 6, place Agent Venom adjacent to a hit opposing character. So you could use that, like, Batman, that prime Batman that can shoot across from the map. I don't think he shares any keywords. Pretty sure he doesn't. But he does not. <laughs> For instance, if you had a character like that with a crazy range, and you roll a three well, through six, he doesn't yet. We'll get to that in a bit. Sorry. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you roll a three through six, then you can place Agent Venom adjacent to the hit opposing character. So that's pretty neat. Uh, that's he just zoops over there. He has been placed, so he doesn't get the modifiers. But mm -hmm. I mean, he does have two rollouts if you play him at fifty. And he's got a decent defense and reducer if you play him at 75. And then, of course, he's got the symbiote trait, which is plasticity and shape change. He ignores elevated and hindering for movement. Um, pretty solid piece all around. He does have indom. Um, everything that you would expect a Venom to be in a nice little, nice little uh, point package. Um, I think this is a solid super rare. He's got a cool sculpt going on. Uh, is there anything interesting about this guy that maybe a, a Venom from, like, two sets ago would have had that he does not, Calder? Hmm. I don't know, Simeon. One of these traits certainly seems a little light on the wording, you know what I'm saying? As it's if it's, little... like, missing a comma and... Yeah. Like, a three little extra, extra something. That makes it, you know, not necessarily way better... But it's, it's definitely worse than it was before, which is weird because they've been using this trait for about four years now. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I sure don't know why they certainly don't know why they would why they'd change it now of all of all times. Because it, it huh. got too powerful. Calder. Too powerful. That's it right. was too, breaking into the meta too, too strongly. Venoms. Yes. All that all that one hole chase from those venom chases. 
yeah. was too good, and it was because of and that because trait. Of that, particular that was the trait. trait that made him too good. Yes, so, of course. <laughs> Uh, he does not have the automatically breaks away part of his symbiote trait. So he's got plasticity and shape change. He will get a plus two to break away under most circumstances, um, but he does not automatically break away. So still you will have to hedge your bets if you're playing him at top dial and he gets tied up. Uh, you might just you know do that twelve for four or that ten for four. Um, and just hope that, you know, they don't have, like, a reducer that you need to get away from or whatever. Um, or that you can just, you know, one of your other characters hits somebody and he can just zap across the map to that character. That'd be nice. Yes. Yes, indeed. So, it, I, I don't know if they changed that just for him because there is a way to get him to automatically, you know, place somewhere else, you know, right? or what it is, but I think it's just because they wanted to clean up the wording, and they wanted to just be like, boop, boop, two powers, there it is, that's it, symbiote trait. I think they just wanted to simplify it. Um, here's a here's an aside, yeah. Calder. Do you think okay. plasticity should stack? Like, I don't I know think as so a at game, all. In a game sense, it makes perfect sense that it stacks, but do you think, like, if I have a hypersonics piece, and you put three plasticity pieces next to me, I now have to roll a six to break away? I think it should be uh, that modifier should... I know it's not a stat, but, like, the rule of three is important for stats, and I think the rule of three would also be important for plasticity. Obviously, it would straight up make you fail if you have plasticity negative three, right? So you just straight up fail, you know? Well, you and always you succeed on a six, six and always, always fail on a on one. A six. You always fail on a one. Yeah. But, um, I don't but think yeah, it makes it, <laughs> it makes it go from, like, somebody... Um, somebody with, like, hypersonic where you'd be used to having that edge and breaking away or at least an even chance uh, the the fact that plasticity yeah. can stack and there's there's no like hypersonic leap climb combo that can stack uh, i guess hypersonic and plasticity could stack yeah, maybe yeah but no uh, i don't like that plasticity stack yeah i think it's dumb i think it's stupid especially and in I like think, little uh, swarm teams people that don't fix it are idiots yeah i said it plasticity <laughs> Damn, no, I, I, I not gonna care lie. that much about it, but I think it's dumb. I have definitely built teams uh, with like a bunch of swarmy little plasticity you pieces would. to tie people up. You would. And just like, well, you're not going anywhere unless you want to really try for it. But uh, also in uh, the Lucky Dice Cafe previews, we got Dragon Man, who is just Ooh. a giant-sized bruiser. He's a super rare He's got some interesting stuff going on with like healing from blocking and stuff. Been a good uh, not the years since we had a Dragon Man, so that's yeah long overdue. And it's it's not the interesting Dragon Man that I want. I really hope mm. they make the future Foundation one. And then we got a good old uh, Hydro Man, yeah. So so there's that one as well. Yeah, He's a rare. Man. Interesting. Cool. Fantastic school. Four set. Agent Venom, Silk, Hydro Man. Cool. Not going to say anything else. Just saying. Fantastic Four set. If only there was a a Spider-Man set, you could have put those spider characters and Sinister Syndicate villain in instead of a Fantastic Four set. Not, uh, I don't think coming up. It's almost up, like no. uh, when I said Spider-Man ruined sets, he um, he kind of does. Shouldn't have been in Earth <laughs> X and shouldn't be in Fantastic Four. I don't even like the Fantastic Four. And I'm mad that Spider-Man is like, there's, he literally has a set a month later. And and they're putting these people in, in a Fantastic Four set. Something that I don't care about. I literally do not like or care about the Fantastic Four. And you know why I don't? Because you people keep complaining about it, and that's why. Okay? You people. <laughs> so I do not care about the Fantastic Four, but even I am upset that they're putting Spider-Man characters in it. Because there's literally a Spider-Man set a month later. Or two months. Whatever. Right? Anyways... Uh, since I'm bad talking Spider-Man, let me talk to you about a Spider-Man chase that I absolutely have to own. Thanks, Whiskits. Uh, we got some Spider-Man previews from the Game Trade magazine this week. I'll be talking about 065. So the chase theme is going to be all, jeez, oh, original characters. So Whiskits hired an artist or had someone in house. I don't know. Maybe maybe Kenny Pena, Penny Kenya can draw. I don't know. Maybe he can. Maybe he's a real artist. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, they just like we're like, hey, have your kids throw something together, slap it on the some, fridge, bring it into work tomorrow. Kid. 
cards. Uh, we've seen the Leonardo da Venom and the Penny Parker uh, Steampunk. Steampunk, yeah. Which is, it'd be great if we had a normal Penny Parker first, but <clears throat> whatever. Anyways. And now we are seeing, and then they also mentioned the Spider-Man of 1776, which I'm going to have to own. Uh, if you may not know this, I'm very patriotic. Uh, and now I've got to own none other than 065 Miles Miles West. Miles Miles West. Miles Miles wow, West. Wow, whoopie, ah, uh, whoopie, wow, whoopie. <laughs> miles Miles West. That's <laughs> that's his name. That's this person's name. That's yeah, even, so... That's his... I'm going to give him 100% kudos on making this figure and it being like a cool concept. I like the era. It is a good concept. I like, I like yep. like the whole, what is it, 1862 comic line. Yes. Um, I love uh, characters thrown back in time or just reimagined. Uh, there's like a Seven Samurais comic that Marvel did where they reimagined them in, like, feudal Japan. I like stuff like that. It's interesting. It's cool. You know what those characters didn't go by? Weird versions of, like, talking... Like, this is literally a nod to the era that he's living in. Like, Miles Miles West would be like if I was living today, which I am, and I went by, uh, like, the 20th Millennium Boy... (laughs) Like, it's just, I mean, and to be fair, there are other characters like that. It's just bad naming, though. Uh, man, I just don't understand. Like, Miles Miles West. Miles Miles West. And, like, the, the only way miles, you can miles explain West, it is, baby. like, his name's so nice, you have to say it twice. <laughs> and I just don't get it. Also, uh. part of having an alter ego is that they don't know who you are. <laughs> And so if you go by Miles Miles West, they might start to get a hint that it's maybe like in a town of 50 people in the Old West. It might be that one kid named Miles. Like, just maybe. Like, if I started walking around with a mask and I was like, I'm Simeon Simeon bad guy. And people are like, (laughs) well, there's only one person with that first name in this whole town. Couldn't be him, though, because he said it twice. And no one would do that. Who else would rob the bank? Like, hmm, that old Simeon, Simeon yeah. the bad guy. Fully I'm not going to pretend. He was, like, under that mask. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend, like, I could do better. Um, so I, I won't even attempt. But, like, there's so many... There's, like, so much folklore and so many, like, uh, folk heroes from that era that you could draw inspiration from. You could have called him, like... Miles the kid. I, I, mean, I realize that's still his first name, but yeah, like, it's not like Miles the Miles West. Arachnid kid. Uh, the arachnid the, kid. That arachnid kid is better. You just said I can't do better. Arachnid kid is better. <laughs> that is a better name. It, it even rhymes. Yeah. Whereas like Miles Miles West, it's literally like, well, we are living in the wild wild west here in 1862. That's what they call this time period. Like no one in the, like the 30s was like, I'm gonna become a vigilante. I'll be called dust bowl boy like no it didn't happen i don't um i'm gonna stop like complaining to the arachnid kid before like that would have been that is that is my one gripe about this character otherwise it is a very cool character and i really yes. appreciate them making it i just that would have been a cool trait name or like yeah. a power name yes it's just a bad name name uh, so this is the first character I think I've seen in a long time that has no special powers, but four traits. Four traits, ladies and gentlemen. Four what? Four traits. Anyways, I like Miles Miles. Don't get me wrong. Name is weird, yes. I like, I love this figure. Spider-Man family keyword, past police. He has a trait, keyword shenanigans, which is why he's pretty freaking awesome. My kind of allies, when establishing a themed team. Characters on your starting force, the police keyword, gain the Spider-Man family keyword. So, instead of just making a keyword named, right, he gets to merge it. So, this is kind of like Hydra Cap. He gets to merge a generic keyword with a named keyword. So, now, uh, police people, so that Batman, that microphone Batman, who is a member of the police, for whatever reason, I don't know, 
<laughs> he just is. Uh, he is now Spider-Man family, which is cool. So I, I can literally play Spider-Man and Batman together on a team. Like that is so, do- and it's a theme team now. That is what I love about Hero Clicks. That is dope. And you can play it with a normal Spider-Man if you want to. Now he can put Agent Venom on the team, so Batman can shoot someone across the map. And then Blop, you can put Agent Venom there. Like that's awesome. I love it. You can put Sheriff Steve Rogers on the team to put more Wild Wild West. You know, some Miles Miles West, some Wild Wild West. Put Sheriff Steve Rogers on the team. That is awesome. I love that. That's really cool, right? So you got two sheriffs in town, you know, or at least two police in town, right? So it's awesome. I love giving people with police also get Spider-Man family keyword. I love mixing keywords like this. It's great. He also has the normal call and help from the Spider-Verse. So this is when Miles Miles West hits an opposing character. If no character has in place this turn after resolutions, you may roll a d6 on a 3 through 6. Place another friendly character with the Spider-Man family keyword adjacent. Who else has a Spider-Man family keyword? That's right, everybody with police. So keep that in mind if you want to try to pull off this trait 3 through 6 when Miles is running around, running and gunning, shooting people. Uh, think of some good police tie up that could go there. I didn't look that one up, so you, you can do a little research by your own there. But uh, yeah, bizarro and then, police. Bizarro police, that'd be okay. Yeah, I right? mean, if you're if you're throwing down like gold age stuff, yeah. and you're just spending willy nilly points on bad stuff, then oh, bizarro. Yeah. Police. This would be great in golden age. Me- messing with police and Spider Man family in golden age, fantastic. Fan freaking fantastic. Uh, his third trait is fastest webs in the West. This I absolutely love. Miles, Miles West, and adjacent friendly characters can use shape change. Speaking of giving shape change out like candy. Now we have three people in the modern game, when they come out, uh, that just give him and every adjacent person shape change. So that's good. Why is this better? Um, Here's a little caveat, though. It is only for ranged attacks, all right? But check this out. When Miles, Miles West, or an adjacent friendly character use shape change and succeed... After resolutions, give the attacker a webbed gun token. So he's webbing their guns. Why is this good? Fourth trait, no guns in my town. Characters with a webbed gun token can't make ranged attacks. So if you try to target these guys, they make their shape change. Not only do you not like get to target them, you get a webbed gun token, and you just can't make an attack. Yeah. That yeah, sucks. It keeps you from like retargeting... To a potential like well, non shape change role person. It says when shape change and succeed after resolutions, give them the uh, attacker webbed gun token. So I think it, if so he targets it would somebody fully else, resolve. yeah, yeah. So when it fully resolves, then he can't make any more ranged combat attacks. But if they make it, you know, if they keep making shape changes, you never know. Or if he just shoots somebody else, whatever. But like after resolutions, totally, he gets that one range attack. If anyone made it, he's done, and that sucks, dude. Characters with a webbed gun token can't make range attacks, right? And then they have power, remove a webbed gun token, or removed all webbed gun tokens from this character. Uh, that trait is protected pulse wave. So um, now you have to waste an action to do a power action to remove the webbed gun token. So you've got to sit there, and you got to clean out your gun. That's pretty dope. I, I like that. I like that a lot. If you can get... Um, there's several characters that let you reroll shape change. There's the chick in the Orville. I believe there is a... Uh, Star Trek character that lets you reroll leadership shape change, I think. That's awesome. And then you Yeah, could, I think like, one of the Wesleys might Yeah, one uh, of the, one of the there's Wesleys. A, there's a handful, yeah. So there's ways to reroll shape change, and if you just want a bunch of rerolls, you can also put Miles Miles West and your Spider Man family on the Wakanda map, the Earth X Wakanda map, let him reroll some super senses since he starts with that top dial. So let's go into the dial. All the flavor text is great. Running shot is shooting from the saddle. He has that for two clicks. His sidestep is strolling down Main Street. Uh, he has that for the next two clicks. And then his charge is you're under arrest. His top two clicks, he has Precision Strike, which is Web Slinger. His in cap for his next two clicks is Holster That Smoke Wagon. <laughs> and then his Quake is Time for a Little Dress Up. Uh, yeah, Dress Up. And then his Super Senses for his first two clicks is Spider Sense Ringing Like a Dinner Bell. Whee! And then his combat reflexes is quicker than a jackrabbit. Now I'll tell you what, boys, I'm quicker than a jackrabbit. And on his last three clicks, he also has outwit, which is brains behind the badge. It's great. This figure's awesome. He's doing like a Max Payne 3 ult, uh, Punisher, t- like Ultimates Punisher, or I guess what's well, a modern figure? Um, the uh, Ellie, Ambrose everybody Chase. Hates. Yes, thank you, Ambrose Chase. Uh, he's doing that kind of jumping, side jump, and then shooting people. But you know, a real fun guns, thing, which is cool. A real fun thing about uh, this is a side tangent again. 
Yes. Adding uh, that prime Batman to a team with Miles Morales also gives Miles the Batman ally team ability that he can that copy over. So he and already so, has PD, then he also has the Spider-Man family, so wild card, yes. Yeah, with improved movement, hindering, and elevated, so you don't have to worry about that. But he can end in stealth every time he Ooh. does something. All right, and that is my pick for Spider-Man. I cannot wait to have to buy a chase. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, yeah. awesome. Simeon. Again, who, I who are you talking I about? By the way, don't really Miles, have that big of a problem points. with the name. Awesome. Nah, you silly. already you sunk your ship. We complained <laughs> about the name too much. I really don't hate it either, but that's gonna be everyone's takeaway. So this is where we're at. Yeah. I do love the figure. It's just could have done better. Uh speaking of could have done better, this zero fifty four Spider Man. He could have done better. Uh, so he's got Spider-Man secret identity. Not sure. Um, don't know who he is. Oh, wait. Real name, Peter Parker. He has a secret it. identity, but not yeah. an alter ego, maybe? Just, no, just no, no alter ego. There. Okay, okay. Uh, so this Spider-Man, um, he comes in at 60 points. He's got zero range, which is kind of kind of weird for a Spider-Man. He's got improved movement, hindering, and elevated, as a Spider-Man should. He's got two traits. He's got Spider-Man no more. At the beginning of the game, you may generate a number S006 garbage can in your starting area. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't want a garbage can in their starting area? It's pretty cool. Um, and then his second trait is Jonah hates me even more than I thought. When Spider-Man starts the game... An opponent generates a J. Jonah Jameson bystander anywhere on the map. So we're going to cut away to J. Jonah Jameson real quick. He's got 0 points, 0 range, no team affiliation, of course. He's got sidestep, 9 attack, 16 defense, and 0 damage with a single special power on damage. Spider-Man is a mentally disturbed and false-faced freak. Perplexed, but only to target himself or a character with the Spider-Man family keyword. And he's autonomous, so... At best, he's probably just going to do tie-up stuff. Um, at worst, he'll possibly perplex down like your own Spider-Man's uh, defense. But I'm guessing if you're playing this super outside of sealed, you're probably not playing against an opponent that's also rocking some Spider-Man family. Who knows? You might mm. might give him a, a free perplex. But is it worth it? So this Spider-Man, for 60 points, he starts off with two clicks of hypersonic speed. He's got a 12 attack that goes down to an 11 with a special attack power that is four hoodlums at once. When Spider-Man makes a close attack, he instead targets all adjacent opposing characters. So it's like a it's like a quake, but not quite. So for the it still is going to split your damage between hit targets, but he can combo it with hypersonic. So it's got a little bit of give and take there. Um, so you can you can swing on uh, I think up to technically like eight people with hypersonic i think you can go through through a person maybe not nope that's flight you need so seven people is what you can do um because you do have improved movement through adjacency but not uh through characters with hypersonic so you could you could potentially swing on seven people if they were grouped in such a manner uh that is a special attack power that's the only special attack power he has on his first two clicks he also has two clicks of uh, super senses with 18 defense and then two clicks of outwit with three damage so not a big bruiser but for 60 points he doesn't need to be on clicks three and four he gets charge 11 attack and 18 defense with combat reflexes that goes down to a 17 with combat reflexes two clicks of empower he then goes to a seven speed with sidestep back to super senses with a 17 defense and two clicks of prob so that's pretty cool, but what does what does that sweet garbage can do? Well, oh baby, I'm the trash me you, man. I'm gonna go in the ring. I'm gonna eat garbage. This this garbage can can only be generated by this Spider-Man so far. Uh, maybe there'll be another person that can generate it, but I don't think so. Maybe they'll release a Jason Wingard of objects, but I don't think so. Uh, so. This object can't be added to your force, only generated. Costs 10 points. Um, well, it's worth 10 points. It doesn't really cost anything, because you're going to be playing the Spider-Man. Uh, when a friendly 
054 Spider-Man would be KO'd if this object is unheld. Instead, you may replace that Spider-Man with a 016 Peter Parker on click 2 adjacent to this object. If you do, KO the object. So as long as this isn't held and you can you know, put it in a safe place where it can't be destroyed, it's a light object, um, then you basically get a, a free pass on uh, when Spider-Man would be KO'd. You instead just replace him with uh, this, this sweet Peter Parker. And Game Trade Magazine actually got this Peter Parker as well for one of their previews. Uh, pretty cool. So Peter Parker, real name Peter Parker... He has the Spider-Man what? Team ability. Three range, so you're getting a boost to range with this one. Uh, 35 points. He's got Leap Climb. on. This is on click two, because we're assuming that this is how he's coming in. On click two, he's got Leap Climb, Incapacitate with an 11 attack, 17 defense with Super Senses, and one damage with Prob. He has th- two more clicks before his KO. His click two um, is the exact same as his click one. But Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. If you were paying full points for this Peter Parker, you would it would be one this. more of the same click. So it's yeah, it's not too big of a deal. And then uh, he goes the sidestep, eight speed, ten attack, one damage with outwit, and eighteen defense with combat reflexes, which is pretty decent. And then he has a single trait, secret identity, Spider Man. When Peter Parker would be KO'd, you may instead replace him with a secret identity character with a listed name on click number nine. This game, when the that replacement is KO'd. It scores this character's points and an additional 25 points. So that's not good, but you know who has secret identity? Number 054 Spider-Man. So on (laughs) number 054 Spider-Man's card, you'll only be able to pull this trick off once uh, because the trash can will be KO'd. And um, let's see, it's not the beginning of the game, so you can't generate another one. But on click 9, Spider-Man goes back to a hypersonic speed with his special attack power, which is making a close attack, instead a target all adjacent posing characters. 11 attack, 18 defense with super senses, 3 damage without wit, a single click of charge, 11 attack, 17 with combat reflexes, and 3 damage with empower, and then 7 speed, sidestep, 10 attack, 17 super senses again, with 3 damage prob. So it mirrors his actual dial except instead of two clicks of each of those power combos he only gets one um but you can for 60 points you can swap to that peter parker potentially if you protect your garbage can you can swap to that peter parker and then that peter parker can swap back to this spider-man and so i mean honestly you if you pull it off you get a nine click spider-man and a three click peter parker with decent support powers all around and i mean for 60 points that's a lot to get uh you would i think eventually score like 85 points if you pull off this weird combo and alternatively you could just play this peter parker for 35 points and then get that uh those last three clicks on that spider man so that's also a potential and that's pretty cool yep so uh, the way the sideline works, you can go from Super Spider-Man to Peter Parker, but then you can't, uh, if you started with that Super Spider-Man, you can't bring him back after Peter Parker, right? Uh, so you'd have to way, have, like, Peter Parker main Because the way placement force. works for characters, yeah, you'd have to have Peter Parker main force. You can't start with the unique spider because then you can't add one to your sideline, right? Because it's unique and he's already main force, and then this character isn't on your sideline, he's KO'd after he's out of oh. the game. You know, I didn't even see that Spider-Man was unique. Yeah, so like that's that's the like interaction. I was I'm like I'm gonna let I'm gonna let well, Simeon all finish. Of, all of that is worthless. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I don't want to lose. Yeah. I mean, we get a lot of things wrong, but let's not maybe this week when when I sort of know. Not really. I don't know much more than normal folks, but well, at but least yeah, I'm unique, right about so Miles Miles West being a bad name. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, uh, but what's no. cool about Secret Identity is they also had the 001 Spider-Man. He has the same thing. He has three whatever clicks that are different from his normal dial. So that Peter Parker looks like it's going to work with several Spider-Men in the set, which is cool. And it's also the first time we've gotten just Peter Parker since Web of Spider-Man, right? I want to like say... Civilian Peter Parker? Yeah, it's... 
it's been quite a while since we've had like just Peter Parker with uh, like a prob outwit kind of thing going on. Um, yeah, I don't know how long ago it was. Yeah, dude, it's got to be a while ago. It's been like Web of Spider Man or something because if there wasn't any in the 2016 Spider Man set, Superior Foes, so that's oh, cool, yeah. um, you know. Yeah, I I dig it. I wish like so the cover on the back of this Peter Parker is the half Spidey face, uh, whatever with the half Peter Parker, which is how they used to use his would ha- blah. Goodness gracious, it's how they showed his spider senses in comics when he was just Peter. He would have half the Spider-Man mask and maybe like a little yellow flash or something. I kind of wish that was this sculpt. For a comment, I'm not gonna complain about the sculpt really. It's just like a dude with a computer who they can probably use for like. A Jonah Jameson, a J. Jonah J. Like kind of like, or like a Rick Jones. Like he's just like, just a dude standing there holding black box thing, whatever that. <laughs> like it's not a camera. It's just like something, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Paper or something. We did get an alternate uh, secret identity that this Peter Parker can swap to. Yes. And that's number zero zero one Spider Man. So. I'm not going to go through his full dial. Say, he's got really talk about three figures right now, dog. Yeah, he's serious. got like Spider-Man stuff, but uh, traded super senses. And then if you swap to him, he'll have leap climb, sidestep, passenger one, in cap and perplex top dial. But uh, you can you can check all those pictures out on our Facebook page if you want to look at the full dial of those. Yes. All right. Simeon, this is what everyone is ready are you ready for this we have super big news marvel cosmic reverse hero star swallows giant hardcover model marvel hero clicks galactus devourer of worlds premium colossal figure more than 12 inches tall star swallows are coming to taiwan and a tabletop near you and it turns out come after august are you ready for the swallow star challenge I can't wait to do this, this Swallow Star Challenge. Why don't you rush to the shop 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 for pre-order? Come and see what the features of Swallows. Anyone who has seen the preview before knows the sophistication of this model. And the model is more than a foot tall, more than 30 cm. Meanwhile, you have two more heads parts to replace. Wrapping will be page look. You can turn around to see all the inside. Close images with details on the side. Putting on the bookshelf looks extremely domineering. Star, sorry, Swallow Star's base is a super massive size of three by six, while four more. Uh, while four more. Turtles, while four more. While two turtles for Swallow Star's own use. There are 32 grids of blood, Simeon. That's enough. 32 That's grids enough. of blood. That's enough. It's plenty of grids of blood. Stop with the, the grids of blood. That's enough. The, I can't the handle all these grids special rounds. Of blood. One is for the collect little brother. <laughs> the collect, <laughs> the collect little brother, and the other is to let swallow the map, to let swallow the map, Simeon. There are six different score trees available for swallow. Choose from 750 to 100, or use his pioneer with just 25 points. Pioneer question mark? Don't understand question mark? This is the little brother he took. Anyone familiar with comics will know that Silver Surfer is one of his little brothers. Mm -hmm. At the highest value of the wheel, the Swallow Star has outrageous properties of a range 11 range, 15 hits, 21 defense, and 8 injuries. This number could bring you back to old days of player raid together. I really don't know if it will be limited. Hurry up to your favorite store and sue him for plus one. <laughs> Man, I feel like I've had 8 injuries. Uh, so this, of course, being our favorite, our favorite place to get news... And I don't, I don't know what they're actually called because they it. just get shared. And I, yeah, WizKids Taiwan, I believe. Yeah, so uh, Taiwan, yeah, yeah. the the auto translate is not perfect, to say the least. From English to Taiwanese, back to English, is a little. It's rough. It's a little rough. But I am here for grids of blood, ladies and gentlemen. This is. This is something I am 100,000% down for, and Silver Surfer, now, of course, if you're a comic fan, you obviously know Silver Surfer is Galactus's, is Star Swallow's little brother, unless, what are you, an idiot? You don't think he's his little brother? Stupid? 
pioneer question mark pioneer don't understand question mark, question mark? yeah <laughs> i don't, uh, don't understand actually question mark i thought whiz kids could not do better with their you know their uh campaign modes but collect little brother is probably going to be one of like the top campaign plays uh ever uh so cool. not only is it like a a fetch quest but it's also <laughs> turns into you know a what do they call it you know you have to you have to bring them back you have to collect and bring him back to bring yes. back little brother. Oh yes, yeah, bring back little brother. So here's here's another one, really quick. I'll try to read through this one. Really, then we'll actually talk about what Galactus does. Uh, anyways, uh, if you don't know Galactus, we showed off. There was a few live streams, and then there was he was put on WizKids' website for pre-order. So Galactus is coming in August. He's going to be one hundred dollars straight up, or whenever cool stuff finally gets him on their website. Not right now, but he will be uh, 5% off with code uh, DIAL5. <laughs> CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, so hello, everyone. The editor will introduce today the Star Swallows of Reverse Heroes, the original name Gallon, originally from the 48th of the Amazing Four Superman manga in 1966. I don't know if that's right. Probably isn't. No, it's it's just no, it's not. It's just not right. Uh, so they they call him Gallon, and they say Garen, a resident of the Cosmic Eggs before birth of the universe, discovered that the Cosmic Eggs were about to be destroyed to find out the fate of saving the Mother Star from extinction, but failed. Three sad emojis. Gallon survived in the arms of the universe, and the extinct com- Cosmic Incarnate with Gallon became the new Cosmic Incarnation. Incar- Three wow emojis. The Star Swallows were just a batch of energy when he was born. After thousands of years of armor looks. Made Made him very hungry, starving planet for food. Three more wow emojis. One watcher just learned that star swallows would cause the demise of many planets to break the rules of non-interference, but decided to let him eat after learning that star swallows are actually an element in maintaining the balance of the universe. Planet three wow emojis again. But as the incarnate of all things in the universe is still seen as the greatest threat by the eternal elders of the universe so that the cosmic elders often declare war on swallows in the name of maintaining peace in the universe. Three happy... Uh, but like sweat by the top left, like a ha <laughs> emojis. Star Eaters often don't have planet to devour because of surprise for Superman. Making the most ferocious presence in the universe is often overthrown down. Interested in the background story of Star Swallows? Read the link below. Anyways, so I, I, I just, I love the translations so much. They are gold. Go like the WizKids Thailand page. We have it shared on Facebook. It's only on Facebook. Uh, check it out. They might have a Twitter. I don't know, but uh, check it out. It is worth a like. It's worth a follow. It's it's pretty cheap laughs. It's pretty good. It's pretty solid. I oh boy, do I dig it. Dig it. Uh, so Simeon, tell us about Galactus. He has, of course, 32 gr- uh, grids of blood. Top dial. His lowest is 100 points, and it, they do sadly make it seem like his highest point value is only 750, which yeah sucks which sucks so that really is his highest 750 that for yeah sucks, man. not a hundred percent sure on like his dials because the way that they've been showing them is uh it's just not the best i guess that we could have gotten uh i'm assuming if you play him at 750 you'll get a play through all of his dials but i have no idea because it seems like at least one of them is going to be a resource dial so um but for 750 points, you get three targets, 11 range, which is it's okay. Yeah, uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna blow old Galactus out of the water with that. Got zero speed. Also, not gonna be blowing the old Galactus out of the water with that one. Uh, 15 attack, which is pretty solid. Three clicks of Pensai goes 15, 14, 14. Starts with a 21 defense and invincible. An 8 damage with prob, which you'll definitely need with that 15 attack. Um, Because the only way you're going to probably miss is a crit miss. And he goes down to a 7 damage, 7 damage. uh, That's for his next 5 clicks is 7. He goes down from the 21 to another click of 21. And then he's got 4 clicks of 20 from this first preview dial that we've been shown. It's mostly invincible, which I'm not a huge fan of. And I'll tell you why real quick. I'm not going to get into it too much, but a 21 defense just isn't hard to hit when you've got a force that's 750 points deep. A 21 defense is like I have three PD on my team, and now it's an 18. I have three perplexes, and now my 12 attack is a 15 attack, and I need a six. Like It's just it's mm-hmm. going to be easier to hit 
than I would like. And we'll have to see if he has a trait or something that makes it harder. But just on the surface, his defense is the one problem I have so far. He goes to Force Blast, Outwit, uh, Energy Explosion, all for three clicks. And then uh, this is... So his first three were Pensai, then Energy Explosion for three, and then Pulse Wave with 12 attack for three, and six damage, 19 defense with Invincible. Not sure what his next point value is. Uh, is that the 500? Did they even... I don't know if they even said... Um, hey, man. No <laughs> idea. <laughs> I, think he's got, I think he's got a 500 and like a 100. But his other uh, point value starting line... Uh, is like a 12 attack with Pensai for two clicks and 19. So it's not like it's not getting any better, but it repeats the same Pensai energy explosion, pulse wave, Pensai, you know, stuff like that. Nice. Um, so uh, also he goes down. I think this must be his his hundred point line because he goes down to a four damage for all of those values uh, with prob, perplex, stuff like that. So not super sold on trying to run him against a uh, like a full 750 point team. Honestly, like I think with just like those stats that we see, like sure he's going to vaporize like one or two people. Um, he doesn't have anything from what we can see top dialed that's going to get out of like shape change super senses. Yeah. So that's not great. Um, hopefully he'll be able to see through hindering and stuff like that. But uh Assuming he he triple targets and cripples a few people for 750 points, I'm I mean if I'm running like Headmaster Wolverine and that's all I'm running, um, I'm gonna be able to get there and flurry him with like some five damages pretty easily and pretty pretty consistently because a 21 again is not even with like a 14 attack which is only three perplexes and perplexes super cheap nowadays. I mean it's always been fairly cheap, but yeah, that's that's all I, I'm going to say about his dial, to be honest. Okay. Uh, that's not I, the most interesting part, anyways. So No, it's not. It's not the part that people are going to be shelling out $100 for. Sadly. 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 <sighs> it's the part that I'm going to be shelling out $100 for, even though I'm talking bad about it. So do we want to go over the elemental converter dial, or do we want to go over his herald dial first? Let's do... Uh, elemental converter. It's which one you can read easier. Really, it's uh, oh boy, is it rough. I think uh, Whiskits, somewhat of a, a professional company. I won't claim that they are. Okay, <laughs> um, man, these screen caps were tough. These they could have really sat down and made a real nice live video, some better lighting, with some better anything. Oh boy! Yeah, it's, it's I mean, hard at this to read, point, baby. I would have like, preferred like an article, because. Oh, I definitely would have preferred was... an article. Y'all can write up articles. Facebook, Facebook yeah. Live's fun. I, I enjoy doing those. I haven't done one in a while, but like, maybe just write an article. You guys got a website? Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> uh, so it's Elemental Converter dial. Ele- elemental Converter. Mm. Elemental Converter. This is uh, where he swallows map. Yeah, when playing Galactus. Yes. The elemental converter dial is in use whenever he is on just your this. force, uh, something like that, uh, or your sideline. So whenever he's on your force or your sideline, this is this is always active. I think is what that first paragraph is trying to say. Uh, again, going off of a uh, my fuzzy picture here. Um, yes. So he's got a. a Second stanza of his power, accelerating destruction at the end of your end turn. End of your turn. There you go. <laughs> Click the you want me to read it? Or you got it. Dial once. Uh, I'll try. You, you help me out. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I not read good. Uh, if Galactus or the Herald KO'd an opposing, an opposing character, character, character this, turn, this turn, you may, you may click, click it, it an additional time. At the same time it can't are. be turned past click 20. If a uh, power cosmic team ability is revealed heal galactus equal to the number of displayed on this dial the number displayed on this dial so he has potential to heal back up which is good he's going to need it because he's going to be easy to hit in my opinion uh converting planets to pure energy this is the fun part in my opinion Mm -hmm. at the end of each opponent's turn deal one unavoidable damage to each character 
on that force within x squares of the map edge where x is the number displayed on this dial so you're clicking this dial and you're clicking it faster if you're KOing characters right uh, opposing characters yes. so you're clicking the dial and you're clicking it faster and so basically by turn two you're going to be dealing one unavoidable to anyone that's still in their starting area um, and then so on and so forth and this includes uh, this is x squares of a map edge so this includes starting areas and like the, the long y long ways right yeah, so it's those the edge. Edge. so yeah. those are all the edge of the map. So it's going to go in one square, the entire edge, right? Yeah, it's shock the turtle. I mean, it's shock the turtle. If you are familiar with shock the turtle, it's shock the turtle. It just starts turn turn two, or which I mean, if your opponent goes first and they don't move everybody away from that edge, then at the end of their turn, they also are going to be taking that damage. So, um, and it says that this is active sideline, so. That'll make it really interesting when you're playing this other dial. Do you wanna do you wanna take this one away? Do I? Oh boy. I I'm also gonna have trouble reading this one, but Harold Dial, ladies and gentlemen. So WizKid said, you know what? No more ID cards. You don't have to worry about that pesky sideline except for uh except for those trouble alerts. Oh, but oh wait, here are some let's cause, let's make trouble, guys. Okay, so maybe you got a little more to your sideline, okay? We can't totally take that away from you. But oh wait, yes we can. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, making their return to Heroclix, not only is it possessors, in a way, in a fashion, but also, oh boy, a version, yeah, kind of a version, of the Supreme Intelligence, a much better version of the Supreme Intelligence. We have the Herald Dial, how to play the Herald Dial. There's four parts to this. All right. One's the simple how it's set up, and the rest are kind of the effects of it. You may pay 25 points to include the Herald Dial on your starting force. Oh, gosh, goodness gracious. It, the Herald Dial is in use whether Galactus is on your force or on your sideline. This effect applies to the Herald Dial uh, until the Herald is KO'd. The 25 points for this dial are scored when the Herald is KO'd. You basically you're equipping the herald. It doesn't say equipped. Okay, excuse me. Yeah, you're choosing uh, him. You're choosing him. It also doesn't say assigned, which is weird. So like, um, terms we're used to, wording we're used to, isn't here. Yeah, this I haven't used assigned in a long time. Don't don't give me no. Oh, it's actually the golden age, whatever. Assigned this will just, effectively whatever. change the ID game, which was uh like fifty dollar ID cards, like roughly like twenty five yes. to fifty dollar ID cards. Man, I can't believe I have to waste all this money on my sideline. Well guess what? Now you have to waste a hundred dollars on your sideline for twenty five points of your build. I mean only if you're only if you're doing competitive, but only if you're doing competitive, yes. Honestly, this is also gonna be kind of fun for casual. It's just gonna be. I think making any game you silly. want shock the turtle is hilarious. I yeah. Think it's great. Like That's awesome. automatically implementing that and being like, uh, I guess Jason Wingard has power cosmic now, so that's right. fun. Why? Why shouldn't he? Um, I wonder, since you're you're limited to nine characters on your sideline in the normal 300 point game. Yeah. Since Galactus is a three by six. No. Nope, does that nope, count for a... that many figures? <laughs> what is that? It's not nine spaces on your sideline. So, come on, it's got to co it's got to cover some of man, them. I'm just trying, man. I'm trying, okay. All right. It would be, you know, all if, those if all those guys that sideline, design trays are gonna have to start redesigning think, all their trays. Oh though. yeah, dude. They are gonna. You're gonna need, dude. I would not put Galactus. He's going in a bucket. This is Tyler Speedy's. <laughs> I'm gonna have a five gallon bucket to every Hero Clicks tournament, chucking Galactus in there. Like he probably can't even fit in a five gallon bucket. I don't know. No, three by six should be should be small enough. Anyways, but like, dude, this is a freaking like you can't make a tray that'll fit. Just gonna leave him in the yes, box. Yes, you can, but he's gonna be so awkwardly heavy. Why would you want to? He'd have to be in the center. Number one, if you're gonna make a tray, he's awkwardly heavy. Please put him in the middle of the tray and then little spots around him. That's obviously the best way to make it. Anyone should tell you that who understands basic balance of things. Um, but just for anyone out there, there are awesome people that make trays. Jeremiah Peterson being one of them. Uh, don't don't put him off to the side. You're a smart man, so you'll be fine. I'm gonna leave him. Uh, I'm gonna leave him in a box, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna have the card, and I'm just gonna yeah, slam the box just, down on my sideline. Card? Oh, you're just oh my gosh. 
Well, you have to click the dial, Simeon. No. I yes. have a card for that. It, it, yeah. The card has all the information on it. That's you don't true. need dials. Um, uh, I'm, you and Scott Crampton <laughs> can say we don't need dials anymore as much as you, <laughs> as much as you want. Um, all right. Cosmic Rebirth. This is the only the second part. That's right. We, we got more. We'll try not to keep getting off track here. What can I say? That's kind of what we do. During Force Construction... Oh, jeez. Choose a standard choose, friendly character. Choose a standard friendly character whose point whose value point is, value is equal, equal to. or less to half the build total uh, to become the Herald, quote unquote. The Herald has a range value of five. If its printed range value is less, uh, it can't mm, can't be equipped or replaced. The Herald has power, cosmic team ability, and can use the power displayed on the Herald dial. Jeez, that is hard to read. Man, I have perfect 2020 vision. I know Simeon doesn't, so this is, this is tough. <laughs> this is tough. So Mega the Herald, four, uh, you equip... Five. Yeah, ooh. So the Herald instantly gets uh, power causing team ability. They cannot be replaced. Sure, that's fine. Yeah. They can't be equipped, which is good. And they I'll go... Do you want me to go down the, the dial of powers that you get? Yes, tell us the powers the Herald can get. So... Um, just real quick, this is what you're going to be clicking onto and then we'll tell first you how turn. You turn the dial, which is also important. So before so you ahead. ever click it, you're going to have leap climb. So I guess, I mean, you probably won't be using it in my opinion. Maybe you've got a character that doesn't have improved movement, and so you'll be using leap climb turn one. Um, once you click it, you'll have hypersonic speed. On click three, it's running shot down to charge. Then click five is quake. Six is penetrating psychic blast. Seven is energy explosion, and this is seven is the first time that you'll see the little uh, power cosmic symbol with a number. So that'll be number six, and then it counts down from there. So eight is ranged combat expert. Nine is outwit. Ten is perplex. Eleven is probability control, and then twelve, which is where you stop turning the dial. That is inner, or that is pulse wave with prob control. And, of course, the number associated with that is going to be a 1. So you will have to roll a 1 or higher, which is pretty easy to do, in my opinion. Yes. All right. So that is how the dial works. is the powers you can get. Let's go see it. Let's go ahead and see how we can turn it. Galactus is coming. This is the third part. At the end of your turn, if the Herald is within five squares of an opposing character or KO'd an opposing character that turn, click the dial. Sorry. Uh, click the Herald dial <sighs> that many times. Oh, t- t- twice. Jeez, goodness gracious. Um, uh, click it to all that apply. Goodness gracious. So if you move upwards uh, within five squares of somebody and also you KO someone you get to click it basically like twice in a turn uh, the herald dial can't be clicked past click 12 awesome did I read that right I'm sorry this is yeah, so bad that's, a, yeah. that's as close as we yeah, can get right now um, and then the last one is your words are spoken the die is cast so shall it be the herald has power if you Yep. yep. If you and <laughs> opponents, uh, if you are, if you occupy an opponent's starting area, roll a d6. The result is equal or more than the displayed. Goodness gracious, the yeah. displayed number on the herald this dial. Displayed uh, place herald Galactus dial. anywhere on the map uh, on his hundred point uh, starting line. Uh, you score Galactus at hundred points if he's KO'd. So once you get to the end there, you know if you want to, if it's equal, and you're like, I'm gonna roll for the big six, go for a power probably gonna fail to be honest with you um but you never know and then obviously as it goes down you keep clicking it forward it gets lower and then you have a higher probability this is just how the game works we play this game we know you have a higher chance of rolling higher on your dice you can bring in galactus so the herald who whatever it's basically supreme intelligence but it's a lot easier to pull off yeah yeah it's, you bring in Galactus, and then it's also anywhere on the map, which is dope. If you have a character that's like hard to KO and can stay near another character, um, you can just work your way down the dial in a few turns, uh, still trying to KO opposing characters, of course. And then you pull in Galactus at 100 points midway through the map. And again, this is only a 25-point investment on probably a figure that could use willpower and protected outwit. 
Maybe not. Maybe it's just a good figure already. Um, but a 25 point investment can get you, you know, that probably that four damage, 12 attack, Pensai, 11 range, triple target, and you just gotta place them anywhere. So place them right within like that range, and just start mm-hmm. blasting away. And that's it's pretty rude. I mean, I think it'd be pretty sweet if it came down to like two heralds with two people uh, that had Galactus sidelined. And then they both bring in Galactus at the same time, or like you know, alternating turns. But yeah. uh, otherwise, uh, if you don't have Galactus on your sideline for twenty-five points, um, man, you're going to be a little outmatched when he just pops up. You're going to be a little outgunned, a little outmanned, a little outnumbered, a little outplanned. And it's also possible he comes in on this 11 attack pulse wave. You're going to need Galactus. Six range right pulse man. wave. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so there's, that's Galactus. There's just so many I realize so many crazy kinda, things that are going to be going on with so that. Much, so much. So ain't that fun. So just paying 25 points, you've instantly made it a Shock the Turtle game mode. You now have someone who can choose powers and turn that bad... Or not choose powers, but is power cosmic, so you know, protected out with willpower now, minimum five range, which is dope. So yeah, Galactus is fun. He makes every competitive game you're going to build to 270 points, 275 points, and your team is going to be a minimum of a hundred dollars <laughs> plus whatever else you want to put on the team. So, so really like every team's going to be like shaking out about to like 200 ish bucks, you know? So what you're saying like, is he should be allowed in popper. Oh, yeah. Well, Simeon, you can just buy him. He His is rarity buyable. is a static rarity. You just buy the guy. That is true. Come on. Only $100 oh. plus well, shipping. Simeon. And, uh, or, I mean, if you I don't know what the word shop. popper means, but based on these <laughs> rules, clearly, clearly. No, I... Know, popper, popper allowed WWE because WizKids wanted them to allow WWE. That's why. Okay? Mm-hmm. It's, it's a corner case. Also, violence. I mean, the widow cycle isn't even legal. I think you could buy almost all of WWE minus the starters for under a hundred bucks. Maybe it was a little bit more. I don't remember at this time, but uh, the starters would give you most of like you know most of the figures and the ring, and that was half the price of Galactus. And if you bought just the figures in the packs, those were only eight dollars. Um, yeah. And whereas Galactus is not going to be put on the board at 100 points he's going to be used as this resource i think it kind of defeats the purpose of uh that whole that whole kind of thing but he is going to be put on a lot of sidelines and man is he going to be gross in golden age as well it's, it's going to be a lot if not all it's it's insane galactus is a powerful dude and bro let me just say something so many people are going to accidentally knock that galactus off the table because he's going to be on everyone's sideline, and he's just always going to be sitting on the side, right? Like the amount of broken Galactuses is going to be really high. I just, I, I'm just calling it right now. Like, there's no way, just a ton of people don't knock that dude off. Like, there's no way he doesn't get like, like broken once or twice per tournament in a world style setting. I feel like we're gonna have like five or six, maybe like ten or twenty yeah. broken Galactuses by the end. I'm hoping you know? that he's similar to the uh, Galactic Guardians one and his foot. And his like feet can come off of the pegs. Um, yeah, that'd be that'd be cool. That would be He's nice. Transport because yeah, I just having like the dial. I think get cut in half, you know, type deal with a like a waist or something, you know. Oh yeah, that'd yeah. Be nice. Either either the foot pegs right or like maybe cut in half the waist type deal. Um, in box, I guess we could look at his picture in box here really quick. I mean, you look. But, yeah, no, solid. that's. That's cool. yeah, he looks uh, solid in box. So hmm. they've done a couple like close-ups on his his face and like the beautiful details. And, and it, it's, yeah, it's, it, it's really domineering. good. Domineering, honestly, really. worth the hundred points just for like a statuette. Hundred uh, for yeah, for just like a statue of Galactus, it's probably worth the hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, the fact that you can also play it occasionally or all the time if you wanted to start doing you know competitive stuff. That's probably what it'll be. Uh, decent investment because you'll you'll be seeing this guy for at least two years. Yeah. Well. Yeah, yeah he's not Nelly, so yeah, two years, two years. He's just an in-store viable, so that's nice, I guess. 
I would say get a good vibe with your group and maybe don't play Galactus 25 points every single freaking week after he comes out. Like, locally, people are going to get definitely sick and tired. I think that could be a major fun foul if you do Herald Dial on somebody every single freaking week. Like, that, I would get annoyed playing against that every week. So, like, when you get Galactus, yeah, he's new, he's cool, he's fun. Just play him at 100 points. Play him, you know, like, whatever. Play him yeah. force. Don't burn... Don't burn your like local guys out on this dude. Like he's he's gonna be. I'm gonna get tired of playing against him. I can already tell within like two months. Yeah. All right, and I'm gonna have to do it for two years. So. Luckily, I mean, another thing is like I haven't seen anywhere on his dial that protects him from people that take away protected outwit. And there is enough right. figures out there. This is another there's... gripe about his 750 point dial. I believe that a like uh, the Nationals teams from last year with like the Kobic trader combo that was like making sure. big waves. I think those 300 point teams could take down a uh, 750 point Galactus from what I've seen, which isn't yeah. like a knock against Galactus. It's just, there's so much in like the 300 point era, like the, the whole 300 point build that is just like really solid and really densely point packed. I don't think that he's going to be great at 750 points for like casual games uh, unless he, he gets like that cosmic multi-attack thing, but uh, like uh, I played that Odin chase uh, from Battle World. He also strips outwit and stop clicks and all that fun stuff. Uh, says that like they can't heal. That Odin could with like his uh, his Avenger swarm kind of thing could drag that Galactus down at least two dials also, uh, in one turn. Chase Thanos with his perplex, getting rid of power cosmic. Right? Yep, the the Ultra so, Chase Thanos. Stuff like that. Yeah. Professor Moriarty, uh, Possessor, which is an uncommon that can do that. Um, so like, there it's not just all chases. There's there's some uh, commons in there to, or uncommons in there that can like do these kind of shenanigans as well. And uh, just makes me sad because, man, I mean at least he's better than Living Tribunal, which doesn't make sense from oh, a comic yeah. standpoint. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean at least there's that. So. And he's bigger. Yep. Why shouldn't he so, be? So my only worry is Galactus is good. He's really good. You're going to make him be like straight up $100. If they errata him, like, so it's different, right? When you make a blind box super rare like Goblin King good, and then you end up having to change him, that's different, right? The secondary right. market has determined his value to be stupid high, and they're going to be kicking themselves for spending it, right? But you didn't say you have to sell Goblin King for $100. Galactus is straight up 100 bucks, and if there's a problem and they errata him, people are going to be so mad. So I hope, I really do, I hope they understood what's coming out in these next three sets, Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, X-Men, you know, plus JLU, all the stuff that's already out. I hope they did, and I, I know WizKids really doesn't do amazing playtesting. We know this, okay? I really hope they playtested the hell out of this figure, because if they didn't, the, the people are going to be so mad if they drop $100 and they change him. You know? That's all... That's my biggest worry. Is, like, it's straight up $100 investment, quote-unquote. And if they change him, people are going to be super pissed. So I just... Yeah. I hope with kids... I really do. I really hope they... They well, ironed out all yeah. the kinks for this guy. That's like, my please. big problem with the, the whole thing is they made him... A hundred dollars, and they they put a lot of focus on like his twenty five point dial. Obviously, his uh yeah. his whole herald thing, that's got a lot of stuff going on, and a lot of people will appreciate that. His seven hundred and fifty point dial will never need to be fixed because right, that's casual. not a format. Yeah, there's no format yes, that there's no you can use that point format or whatever. So right? they could have made his seven hundred and fifty point dial cosmic multi attack and protected all these things and maybe they did and we just haven't seen those traits. But I feel like they might have let off on that when they were talking about his seven hundred and fifty point dial. Yeah. Uh oh boy, that's Galactus. That's yep. enough complaining. That's news. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about hey, our supernova tournament. We're doing a supernova sealed tournament. Uh, people are bored right now. People want some online tournaments. I do not care for competitive modern age. I do not play it unless I absolutely have to, unless I'm hanging out with people that I love. So am I going to play competitive modern online? Absolutely freaking not. 
that sucks. No thank you, not for me. So instead, we hold tournaments like our Captain America tournament, which is just characters named Captain America. Now we're holding a Supernova sealed tournament. So it's $10, it'll get you two boosters of Supernova, you get to keep those figures. I'll probably make an offer um, to like buy them from you if you get a figure that I want. Uh, etc etc so supernova 10 bucks two boosters i will do a live stream opening the boosters i will say whoever's name it is right i'll put two boosters together put a piece of paper on them this is entrant number one two three four and i'll be like all right simeon bruce here are your boosters i'll open them and then later that night i'll probably send you a message on whatever platform we were speaking on of your team build in hc realms uh, just so you can see all of them in one concrete space send that to you so you understand what your numbers are the rookie veteran whatever that's your team. Probably going to do the unboxing uh, either Wednesday or Thursday this week, since the tournament is the 27th, which is this Saturday. It's the 21st today and the 22nd or sometime afterwards when you're listening. We have six people signed up. I'd like to get at least eight people signed up. I think that'd be awesome. I think sealed is fun. I think playing with old sets is fun. All right. So you can also win. And here's the best part. A $50 cool stuffing gift card. You know what's you know what I think is really fun. Money, money, money. So, we have great prizes. Uh, we also have action tokens. So, Dial H for Hero Clicks, howdy, howdy, let's get rowdy action tokens, which if you're part of our Patreon, you've probably received some of those. And then, we went ahead and made two more designs for action tokens, which we'll be posting later this week. One is a Lex Luthor 40 Cakes token, which I think is hilarious and awesome. And then one is a Shawn Michaels Tuning Up the Band token. Uh, we're probably not going to make any bystander tokens. I'm probably going to just keep making tokens that like go on cards. Those are the easiest for me to make. I'm not great with Photoshop or any computer technology at all whatsoever. So probably going to keep it simple stuff like that that are just like fun tokens to kind of have. So you can also get tokens like that in our prizes. So pri you'll if you enter the tournament, you're going to get a prize. You're going to get to keep your figures. You're going to get a prize. Just period. So top prize is going to be 50 bucks. Come play some sealed. It's 27th Saturday. We're going to start at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And that's just getting everybody in the Discord, making sure everybody knows the rules, what's going on. If you are worried about maps, there's one map in Supernova. It is a space map, and that is the map we're going to be doing. It has cool special space rules and basically like half the range. We're we can go we're gonna totally go into it, make sure everybody understands. I'm also gonna have a saved picture of the map on your Roll Twenty game. We're using Roll Twenty as our basis for basically everything for Hero Clicks right now. So we're gonna be using Roll Twenty. If you don't have a Roll Twenty, make an account, check out a happy little Hero Clicks video on how to play in Roll Twenty. And then we are also gonna be using the Dial H for Hero Clicks Discord to get everybody sorted, figured out, put in the right rooms, et cetera, et cetera, for the tournament. So if you're interested, 10 bucks. If you donate to the Patreon, you get to subtract your Patreon donation from it, which is awesome. So go ahead and enter. We we have six people, like I said. I would like to get at least two more. And if there ends up being a buy, I'm sure I can make Simeon play some Hero Clicks. It's I know, I know. Oh, man, how dare you make your co-host play Hero Clicks? Goodness gracious. But I'm sure he'd be fine <laughs> with that. I'll, so yeah, I'll check out it, Supernova, yeah. baby. Moving on. But seriously, check out the Supernova Tournament. That's a threat. That is a threat. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to the community section. There are dozens of us. Dozens! Community Tuesdays, question of the week. Since we finished playing through all the non-carded sets in our YouTube series, Thursday Throwdown, what is your favorite non-carded hero click set? Simeon, we've answered this, but for posterity's sake, what's your favorite non-carded set, my man? Uh, I believe that is collateral damage for me. Yeah, there's nice. a lot of a lot of good sculpts, a lot of uh, decent stuff going on. Uh, Legacy also has a lot of real solid stats and uh, just figures in general. But I liked, I think I liked the stat or the, I liked the sculpts in collateral damage the most. And uh, if I am looking at Golden Age, that's probably, I mean, that far back Golden Age pre-carded i'm probably just looking for the sculpts for sure and then i really like supernova mostly literally sorry mostly literally just because the zombies major victories there too so go ahead and read uh i'll actually read the first one on twitter so we have more on twitter we have protagonist ben jones saying same thing for you simian collateral damage love the calabac sculpt a close second would be indie 
played them a lot. Yeah, Indy's pretty sweet, too. Um, maybe it's just because that's the only place you can get certain characters, but, you know, pretty cool. Uh, John Carl on Facebook says, Supernova, a bit biased since it was my first set, but love the zombies. Right on. Uh, Protagonist Jedi Legend says, Ha! Great pick. Uh, posted a hilarious meme. Twitter exclusive meme. It'll eventually get on Facebook, I'm sure. Uh, got to be collateral damage. Another collateral damage vote here. Great selection and superb sculpts. Close second is Ultimates. Decent pieces. Good lineup. And Marvel's first big standard guy. Wow. Right. And the only other one I've got on Facebook is Malcolm Rush, who exclaims with an exclamation point, Legacy. Ooh. So that was the one with those throwback, the older KC figures, and, of course, that 14 attack Ares. Right on. One attack CP. off of the new Galactus, who is coming in oh, okay. almost 20 years later. Here's the here's the complaint. Here for, for Here like, 500 at. points more. Yep. What a guy. I'm not, oh, I'm not saying what a, what a. he's bad. <laughs> I'm not saying he's bad. I'm just saying <laughs> that defense could use uh. a little workaround. Mm-hmm. Okay, Simeon. Simeon, okay, okay, Simeon. Uh, CP Justice says, my favorite uh, was collateral damage. We we are three for three collateral damage here on Facebook. Uh, experience Dr. Midnight was a staple in many of my teams. Stealth willpower, support for 43 points. Why, yes, I'll take that. He also says, a close second would be Origin. Love the set, but mainly because I got lucky enough to pull Lois and Alfred chases in back-to-back sealed events. That is Community Tuesday's question, a question we ask. Guess what? Yeah, you guessed it. Every single Tuesday. So check out our Facebook and Twitter for those. Next up, a Jedi Legend Hero Clicks uh, Tip of the Week. You don't want to sell me death sticks. I don't want to sell you death sticks. You want to go home and rethink your life. I want to go home and rethink my life. It's a great gif, this tip of Zachary Levi as Shazam with totally no padding in the suit whatsoever. No way. No way could there have been any, any at all padding in the Shazam suit. No way. And he's like doing the... Not the most muscular flex, I don't know what it's called, but uh, one of the flex where he's got the one doing a just normal bicep raise, and the other one's like pointed out in a in a fashion. But uh, the only thing I could relate it to, I don't want to say on air. So uh, if the pack states any of these powers, uh, power, all caps, free, all caps, close, range, that is the type of action required. If it doesn't, the power slash effect is passive and is already in play. The more you know, ladies and gentlemen. So, Very nice. do a quick look over those packs, those powers and abilities. Ooh, ah. yeah. Capital close is not the same as lowercase close. That's a important that distinction. Correct. Yeah. Capital move is not the same as lowercase move. That one's that one's for you, Jonah. Sorry, I cheated. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> but yeah, hey, you learn something new every day. I never cheat on purpose. It just be like that sometimes. It really do. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of our show. We have a ton of new sets coming out, and I love it. We were in a dry spell for a long time with everything going on, and now I'm super happy that we are getting excited for a new set. We're getting previews, and hopefully there's no waiting for that set. And, you know, even better, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen, there is sealed play for that set. That's what I really want more than anything in the world. So... Man, am I excited. You can check out Dial H for Hero Clicks. Tell your friends about the show. Man, if you enjoy it, leave us a review on iTunes and Podbean. Like, if you listen every week, you're like, man, these guys are spitting fire. Even though I kind of hate the fact that Calder just said spitting fire. Maybe, maybe, you know, ignore that. But if you enjoy the show, seriously, leave an iTunes review. It really helps. Helps us show up in the searches. And it is the searches, whatever, uh, higher up. I mean, we're already the best Hero Clicks podcast. I mean, come on. Come on. Come on. So we're already great. But go ahead and leave a review. We haven't gotten any reviews on iTunes since Simeon joined the show. And I know Simeon's a little, a little crying about that. So go ahead and leave a review. Tell tell us how much you like Simeon. Go That's ahead and okay. Subscribe to our <laughs> Not a big fan of those Apple See, users, to be honest. Yeah. All right. Well, when I prefer, like I prefer um, meat and vegetables to, to support my are you are you secretly technology. a doctor? Is that why I, you don't have an Apple? Possibly. See what I see. Never. What I I've actually never once owned anything I'm Apple. Sorry, not a know. never. Not an iPod. Not a computer. None of that. 
not Mac. Man, I used to have those called. little itty bitty iPod, which was like the size of a quarter. The Nana, yeah. Yeah, and once you figured out how to use that stupid little thing, you were like, you felt so sufficient. Like, yes, this is. You were like, all this of my can music. hold three hundred songs. Come on, it's a lot. Don't lie to me. Three hundred. It was. Three hundred yeah. is a big number. No, it's it was awesome. Went Anyways. from like a. 20 max on a CD, yeah. Yeah, and then a CD player was like humongous, and this thing was like, I always felt like I was going to lose it. Never did. I mean, it is gone somewhere now, but I have a phone. That doesn't matter. I have a phone. But like, never lost it while it was important. Anyways. Anyways, uh, listen to us, recommend us to your friends, leave a review, and go ahead, check us out on youtube.com slash dial h for hero clicks for thursday throwdown unboxings whatever else we throw up on there we also put the podcast on there so if you're like man i don't really have a commute right now blah 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 blah. don't want to listen to it on my phone well listen to us while you're sitting at home on your computer just checking your email checking my email put us in the background on youtube let us play baby uh, and then, of course, check out Thursday Throwdown. Love doing Thursday Throwdown. Vote for this week's Thursday Throwdown. If you haven't, uh, get entered, but just by messaging the page. Uh, message the Dial H Hero Clicks Facebook page or Twitter. Twitter is at Dial H Hero Clicks, and it's the four. So dial at Dial H four, the number four, Hero Clicks. And then it's facebook.com slash Dial H for Hero Clicks. Message the page if you want to get entered in the Supernova Tournament. Ten bucks entry. It's through PayPal, so you're going to need a PayPal to do such a thing. Or... If you don't want to enter using PayPal, just join the Patreon at ten dollars, and that will pay for your entry for uh, the tournament, which is really cool. And support us on Patreon, anyways, because we're great. If you <laughs> donate for a long time on Patreon, from now on, the ranking up, which is the cool names like protagonist, vigilante, citizen, etc. Every time you now change from rank to rank, there's going to be more of a purpose. Before it was just like a name, and I was like, okay, Chris, sure. The name is the name is cool, I guess, but it doesn't really do anything. You know, there's like there's technically nothing there. You've gained nothing. Uh, instead, if you go up a rank, you will now get an extra entry into the giveaway. We do we didn't do a giveaway last month. Uh, kind of don't have hero clicks to give away. I'm sorry, I didn't buy any of Just League Unlimited because I kind of don't care. Um, so once I start buying more hero clicks, we're gonna have a Cosmic Clash set to give away whenever Simeon. Uh, gets his etc so stay tuned for stuff like that quick side tangent before you post stuff on social media check and see if it's been posted 20 times in the last two months <laughs> just just i'm not gonna point any fingers but yes we are aware that a certain set only has 19 figures right now thank you and yes we are aware that this figure was shown at gamma like three months ago so it's not news the long, yeah, it. so old. It was also shown with Prime Batman. Yep, and he's this he's in people's hands now. Also, yep, yep. It's just like, come on, guys. You know, I get it if you were new. I get it if you were like just got into the game. I was like, whoa. But, uh, bruh, you were here three months ago. You should have <laughs> like pay attention. Like, I don't, you know, I don't I never pay attention a whole bunch, but like. It's old news. It, 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 I'm sorry. It's just tangent. Yeah. We've had enough tangents on this And this is, this is show. Hero Clicks. We also, like, we only have one new thing a day. It's not like yeah. you, it's not like you have to, like, research and uh, look through, like, all the forums. There's, there's one new thing a day. Yeah. <sighs> but all right, man, that's the show. That's all I got. That's it. Simeon, read us out of here. Any all last right. words? Nope. Done. Not, not, none of them allowed to say. Out. Uh, check out uh, Cool Stuff Inc.'s Twitch page. They uh, do some unboxings and some magic stuff, from what I can tell. So that's cool. Uh, speaking of CoolStuffInc.com, we are sponsored by them. And uh, you can check out CoolStuffInc.com, where they have cool stuff in stock every day, from the latest Heroclix singles and sealed products to all these new Marvel Hero Clicks Fantastic Four booster cases that you can pre-order for $190 minus uh, maybe a discount code that's dial 5. Um, so you can buy those. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. I want to dedicate this episode to the Cool Stuff Inc. intern that listens to our podcast every week. You're the real. You're the real OG. I don't know. <laughs> you're, the, you're the real OG, my man. Uh, Poor but guy. yep, that's it. Happy trails. <laughs>
Not, not, not.